hello everybody. Um, I will try to do a kind of a short uh, introduction to the, what started as a project of the Center for Digital Art in the um, uh, neighborhood, in the Jesse Cohen neighborhood um, in Holon. Uh, started as a project because uh, recently the center has moved into the neighborhood, so it became more than a project. It became more or less a part of our uh, ongoing activities, but I will reach that uh, later. Um, just some little background. The Center for Digital Art um, um, uh, established in 2009, 2001 sorry, by uh, Galita Ilat, who is sitting here. And um, uh, it's, um, it is located in Holon. Holon is a southern suburb of Tel Aviv. It's a residential area. Um, and we are an institution of the city. We, we, we are financed, most of our budget comes from the city. Um, and in a way, uh, we can be seen as part of um, the city effort. Um, I won't go much into details with that, about the city effort to rebrand itself through investments in culture um, and art institutions. Um, and um, we were operating in, in um, in uh, Holon, in, in one residential area of the city, and back in 2009, um, the city um, approached us or invited us to work in the Jesse Cohen neighborhood. And um, Jesse Cohen neighborhood is is um, is located in the other side of town. It's it's um, it was established in the early 50s as an immigration, as a, as a, sm a neighborhood that was uh, aimed at um, 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 providing housing for immigrants that came to Israel. And for, for many reasons, it remained a neighborhood of immigration, so that every time there was a wave of immigration uh, coming to Israel, first in the 50s, then 70s, 80s, 90s, is the biggest wave of former Soviet Union immigration. Um, and also in the last decade, so every time there was a wave of immigration to Israel, uh, the population in the, in the neighborhood changed. So it remained, in a way, in the same status of, an, of, a, of a temporary uh, neighborhood for many of its residents. And it is also considered one of the most uh, poor neighborhoods, not only in the, town of, in the city of Holon, but in, in, in the whole central area of, of Israel. And the immediate context of uh, the invitation for, uh, was that in, in, in the last two years, uh, so approximately starting from 2007, there was a, a wave of uh, immigration from Ethiopia. Um, uh, and we can talk a lot about the, the, the very problematic policy of uh, um, uh, immigration, of Jewish immigration to Israel, but I won't go much into details with that, but the fact is that you had around 150 families of uh, um, uh, Ethiopian Jews coming into the neighborhood, and these are people who um, uh, were um, forced to reconvert to Judaism because they, um, they converted to Christianity and the condition of the state to accept them was that they reconvert into Judaism and in fact they cannot uh, be uh, in a way um, um, uh, free to, 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 um, to choose a, a, a place to live in Israel until they finish this process of um, conversion. And the result is that after they finish it, the state provides them housing solutions, and naturally these housing solutions are in the poorest neighborhoods in different towns all over Israel, and one of them is Jesse Cohen. And, and the city had this kind of wave of around 150 families coming into the neighborhood, and, this, and, and they had no control over this process. It was a result of state policies. Um, so basically what that meant is that the, 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 the city was more or less saying, uh, look, we have different um, um, tools to, to, to deal with this problem. We, ha we have our schools and education system, we have our social workers, we have the community center, but we also have you. We have the, the, the art institution, we have the art center. Um, and, and this was uh, in a way um, um, a challenge for us because we had to, to you know, we, we, saw, we, we see ourselves as an art center that um, questions its own role as a public institution within the Israeli society. The role, the responsibilities, 
um, through, through past projects that we did and through our program. So here we were facing again the same question, what can we do? What is our responsibility? What is our um, role in, in such um, uh, specific circumstances? Um, and originally the project uh, was planned for two years, um, uh, so it should have been quite short term. Um, and when we, we, we started working in the neighborhood, we dedicated, I think, around eight months for talks with residents and, diff and other people working in the neighborhood, people, uh, teachers, people um, working in the community center, social workers, so all the people who were involved in the daily life of the neighborhood just to learn and understand what is needed. And of course, we discovered that there is a very big gap of expectations between the different partners. The city, of course, has some expectations um, of us because it invited us to work there. The artists we invited have sp uh, specific expectations. The residents have different, and, these, and there is a big gap between them. Um, so we really needed this process of um, talks, of learning, this learning process. It was, it was essential to understand what to do. And, and I think around towards the end of the first year, we published a kind of an, uh, an open call for artists uh, not only artists, also for, for um, uh, designers and architects to, to send us proposals for uh, projects. Um, and we asked them that the project will be long term, so that they, they, they will have to stay for, for a long term um, in the neighborhood. Um, that the project has to be collaborative, so they have to involve, they have to create uh, um, partnerships with not necessarily residents, but with other partners um, working in the neighborhood that the implementation process of the project must leave something. It can, be, it can be a knowledge, it can be information, it can be a product, it can be anything, but it must leave something besi beside the end result, and that the project should, should have at least a potential for continuation, so that it will have a potential for uh, local ownership, either by um, the city or others that can, that can allow the continuation uh, of the project. And um, um, we, started, we started working, the, we, we selected about seven projects. I won't go much into details at this stage, I will show you some uh, examples later. Uh, we started working and um, uh, very soon we realized that the, the time frame of um, um, two years is too short. You cannot really um, go into uh, a neighborhood and, and and, and produce a project when you're talking about um, um, collaboration. Two years is, is a too short time, and we, in a very early stage, decided that whatever happens, if the, if the city stops uh, its support, this project, we will find a way to, 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 to allow it to continue because it needed um, more time than, than uh, two years. Another thing we learned quite quickly is that we are almost uh, we, we almost have no effect when we act alone. So when we start an action or an, an artistic project in the neighborhood uh, and we want to, to, to reach out to, to, to find participants, if we rely on our own uh, networks, uh, we fail in most cases. Uh, we must work with the existing social and cultural networks of the neighborhood. So we must work with the um, community center and with the school. These are our partners. So in a, v in a very early stage of implementation, we established a meeting forum that included residents and teachers and people working in the community center and the social workers and people from the local youth movements and the artists. And this um, um, forum gradually turned into a decision-making forum. So it, it became a forum in which non-artists are making decisions relating to the artistic projects. And we are, as artists, um, are involved in, in projects, in decision-making of the other partners as well. And this became a way for us to, um, to in a way, integrate into, this, into the city and into, into the neighborhood and into its existing uh, networks, and um, um, and this and, and this is important because it's not only practical. I mean, of course, it was um, a mean for us to 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 work in the neighborhood, but it's not only practical. It's it's fundamental to the way we see 
our involvement in the neighborhood. We see ourselves as part of an existing network that is already existing there, and we have to integrate into it. Um, so opening our discussions and opening our decision-making process became very important. And I think um, we realized um, that beyond any specific action, beyond any specific project we are doing in the neighborhood, maybe the most essential thing that we can provide is this kind of space and also time that we can allow for all these partners to meet. And we, we see this space as a kind of an ex-disciplinary space in which all the other partners coming from different disciplines involved in the neighborhood meet. And the artists are um, exceptional in this forum in, because the, all the others are coming to the neighborhood with um, a more or less established um, uh, methods and establish, um, um, they have their own toolbox and they, they, they come to the neighborhoods and they know what they do and they have a very clear um, set of criteria to evaluate what they do. And the artists are maybe the only ones coming there without this. And, and at, at least at this point, we see this as an advantage. To come into this, to, to be able to, so, so the only thing they can do is, and we as an art institution, is to provide this kind of space and time that allows all these others, the artists and the other partners, to meet together and to discuss and to be exposed to what, what they are doing. Because they are, we are all working together, but in many cases we were working in parallel not really knowing what the others are doing. So this became, I think, the most um, important uh, thing we provide um, to the neighborhood. The, to this um, um, very much needed um, 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 space for dialogue and for exchange and, to, and for, for meetings. Um, and we were, in a way, using our um, infrastructure and our budgets to, to provide this for, to happen because the other partners can't do it. I mean, the teachers can't, they don't have extra hours of, of teaching to, in order to come to this meeting. So it's, it's something that we can, we can do. We can we use our um, um, privilege, in a way, situation in the neighborhood. Um, um, Another thing that we, 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 we understood that we have to do is that we cannot stay, and I think this is something that is, is common to many similar projects in neighborhoods, is that when you work in a, in a very specific community, when you work in a neighborhood, you, you deal with very local issues. You are, you are um, being um, almost overwhelmed by the problems of the, of the, uh, the specific problems of the space. And we realized that as much as these problems are local, at the same time they are shared with many other neighborhoods in Israel for sure, but also um, all over the world. Because the, the problems that affect Jesse Cohen are a result of state policies, but also of global processes. So we understood that we cannot be um, uh, working only uh, locally, and we have to, 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 you know, to, to network. We have to, 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 um, to communicate with other art centers that do uh, similar projects as we do. So we joined a, a network of uh, eight art centers working in similar peripheral neighborhoods in different uh, cities such as Madrid, uh, Stockholm, uh, Paris, London. And the, the, um, and the aim of that was first of all to exchange knowledge. So we, we, we meet every few months in, in different neighborhoods, we learn the specific circumstances and the specific um, um, uh, tactics and methods of, of each art center within um, uh, the neighborhood they are located in. And we, and we talk about ways of making this knowledge public. Of, of, um, um, and we talk about the shared challenges, such as how you evaluate our action, how you communicate them, how you work with your local partners. Um, but, I but I think that uh, this kind of network should, should, and this is something that is not happening, but if we are talking about what should be done, what should be a, a model, I think this kind of um, network, which is natural for us as artists and for art institutions, uh, should be also used for two other uh, things. One 
is that um, as each art center is working locally with, with its own network of, of partners, as I mentioned before, it can be the social workers, it can be teachers, it can be... Um, and, and why not use the, net, the network also for these partners? So we, are trying, we should try and examine how we can use the, the art network in order to, to not only provide artists working in Holon, in Jessica, and to communicate and to collaborate with artists working in, in, um, in Stockholm, for example, but also for the social workers of these two neighborhoods and the teachers of these two neighborhoods to communicate and to exchange because they are both, again, dealing with similar circumstances and dealing with similar processes that affect their work. And um, uh, so this is something that we should realize and we are trying to build and understand how this can be done. That's one direction. The other direction that this network can provide uh, relates to the fact that we can see each neighborhood as a case study, as I said before, of national or global processes and policies. So for example, Jesse Cohen this, uh, specifically can be a very interesting case study for Israeli policies regarding immigration or housing, or when you talk about the collapse of the um, um, social state, okay, you, you, can, you can go to places like Jesse Cohen and, and use the, 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 um, our presence there and our connections and our networks in the, net, in the, in the uh, neighborhood in order to, to learn and in order to um, um, build a body of information about these processes. So in a way, having this kind of network is, um, uh, can also provide this kind of research. Um, so, so I think I, I'm, before I go into some further details um, or some examples about what we do, I can say that it is important, the way I see the, um, our, I wouldn't call it um, a model because I think it's, it's too early, but the way we work in the neighborhood, the way we work with the partners is linked to, to the issue of, of change because as much as we would like to maybe avoid the, the question of change or effect because it's clear that we are expected, uh, as I mentioned before, in a way we are a tool of the city. So we are expected in a way to create a change. Um, and, um, and I think that um, we should, when we're talking about change, especially when we are coming from uh, the field of contemporary art, we should be very careful um, about what we can, um, what can be the expectations that we raise. But I think that these kind of interactions and these kind of collaborations with other fields, with other partners, can be a way for um, linking art into other uh, publics, into other communities, uh, in a way being part of a larger um, um, group um, that can create a change, not working alone as an art uh, institution, not working alone from the, the, the boundaries of art autonomies, but reaching out, going beyond the, the, the boundaries of, of art autonomy and working together, creating coalitions. That might be um, um, a way of, of um, being more effective. Um, I'll show you briefly um, some um, examples of what we are doing. Um, maybe I'll start with this. This is a project by um, Israeli artist um, Effie and Amir. They are based in uh, Brussels. And, um, This project uh, started, um, this was one of the first projects we did, and Efin Amir came for a short residency in the neighborhood um, um, for six weeks, and they basically they asked residents to invite them to shoot them, video shoot them, I mean, while they are, while they are cooking. And... Um, and uh, there is, of course, cooking was an excuse to, to go to, 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 you know, to have a conversation about the neighborhood, about immigration, about life in the neighborhood, etc. And, and, and eventually, within the six weeks, around almost 40, 
families, residents invited them to their house, to their kitchen. And uh, the result was this website, which includes um, the, the, the short video clips. It's, it's also in English. But, and, and you can basically navigate uh, through the clips, or you can see all the videos. I don't know if it will work here because of the connection, but uh, we can try. And you can, be, beyond the video, you can also, ah, it's impossible to see, but to see, but you can also see the recipe itself. Okay, so that's, that was the, the project, that was the, 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 the project that Effie and Amir did. Um, but what happened out, what came out of this is that we realized that um, Jesse Cohen has this kind of cultural treasure, you can say, of, tradi of traditional, of tradition, different traditions of cooking that comes from different places all over the world because it's an immigration city. So um, we, we decided why not use this kind of local knowledge and, and uh, provide or offer um, a workshop for the residents who already know how to cook, how to use their knowledge and, and turn it into a, um, a small-scale business. So the, 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 some of the people who participated in this project, they joined this, pro this workshop and they established a collective of cooks of the neighborhood. And, they, um, and what came out of this is that the city um, decided to um, uh, invite them to provide the catering services for, for the, the city events. So, so you can see how the, the, the initial art project ended up in, a, in, a, uh, in an end result which is, which is a, um, um, somehow a sustainable um, collective of cooks of the neighborhood of, of around 10 people who uh, gradually begin to, to, to make a living out of the, their local knowledge and, and um, um, traditions. So uh, in a way this is, this is a very clear example of, of how we can you know, um, of the, this kind of model I'm talking about, of involving other uh, partners, because this kind of process wouldn't be able, uh, we couldn't have done it if we didn't work, for example, with the uh, social workers who, who work with this residence and with the city itself, of course. So it's, it's, um, it's a clear example of this uh, project, of this process. Um, another, another, um, uh, interesting example is a, a project by uh, Mayor Tati. Um, first of all, um, it is, we are trying to, to, to allow um, longer, or as much as possible, long uh, terms of uh, implementation uh, and, and the residency. So Mayor Tati is working almost two years in the neighborhood. And he, and, and he is, in a way, he became like the, the neighborhood's artist or curator, because at the same time he also curated exhibitions of local artists in the neighborhood, and he, he developed different projects. Uh, what I want to show you is a, is a project he did with the local youth movement. Um, uh, this is a, show, a socialist youth movement that um, is working in the neighborhood, and together with them, he, he and they have their um, commandments that were, um, I don't know, they were written sometime in, in the 20s or 30s, but back in the 50s, some graphic, one graphic artist created drawings out of these um, 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 commandments and, and May Tati um, discovered these drawings and uh, worked together with the um, 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 people in the youth movement to decorate their, uh, their building. I'll just, the sound is less important, but because the time is short, I will just say that um, the, this, this project ended up with, with uh, um, 
uh, an exhibition in uh, the Batyam Museum. Batyam is another suburb of Tel Aviv next to Cholon. And uh, there was an exhibition about education. Um, and uh, and one, one of the participating artists was the Jesse Cohen uh, Youth Movement. And they, they decorated the whole interior of the museum with the same um, uh, graffiti that you can see here. So they ended up uh, uh, participating in, in the exhibition in this uh, museum. Um, so I'm sorry, it's very short time, so we, we have time for questions. I don't know. No, okay. <laughs> so no. I'm afraid no, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but you might, if there is people interested, you might use the continuity room for, for, uh, for further talk. For sure. um, and yes. maybe just um, talk to Yael Danone. Thank you very much for the presentation. Wait a little bit maybe and then change, change room. All right.